This video explains alert thresholds in What's Up Gold and how you can customize them to meet your business requirements. What's Up Gold Alert Center detects and notifies you of critical messages, failures, and other key events occurring within your environment. You can receive alerts when the performance of a network device exceeds certain parameters, for example, when a set number of errors occur, or when a resource like CPU or memory usage exceeds a given percentage over a period of time. These parameters are known as thresholds. Alert thresholds are powerful because they allow you to evaluate key parameters over a period of time and not simply from one occurrence. For example, if a server's CPU spikes to 90% and then drops to a lower level, this could be normal performance. However, if the 90% utilization lasts longer than 10 minutes, it could potentially signal a problem. You can set up a threshold to alert on these types of conditions. Thresholds are stored in the Alert Center libraries. Many commonly used thresholds are already included here, but you can customize these or create new thresholds that meet your business needs. First, let's review how to edit a pre-configured threshold to monitor for values more suitable for your unique environment. From the Alert Center libraries, open the Thresholds tab. Select the threshold and click the pencil icon to edit. This example uses the Performance Disk Utilization Exceeds 95% threshold. Each threshold has several parameters that you can edit. Some options are present for all thresholds. Others are specific to an individual threshold. For example, the threshold for disk utilization includes settings for the disk average level that you wish to monitor, as well as an option for including or excluding specific drives or partitions. In this example, we'll drop the duration from 4 hours to 2 hours, and we'll only include the C and D disks. While you're editing, you can mouse over the information icon to see recommendations or examples for that parameter. Be careful when editing the threshold check interval. Avoid setting this value to 5 minutes or less because this can degrade system performance. You should usually configure this interval to be longer than the polling interval that gathers the data, which for a performance monitor is usually 10 minutes. When you are finished, click Save. Next, let's show how you can create a new threshold. As mentioned earlier, if the ready-made thresholds are not sufficient, you can create your own unique threshold. From the Thresholds tab, click the plus icon. Next, choose the type of threshold you want to add. You can create a threshold based on a passive or performance monitor, or for network traffic analysis, wireless, or system data, depending on your product license. Let's select Interface Errors and Disk Cards. Again, the options and conditions available for each threshold type will vary. Remember, you can mouse over the eye icon for more details about that field, or click the question mark in the upper right to open an online help topic specific to this threshold type. Next, let's review different ways to select the devices for your thresholds. By default, a threshold applies to all of the applicable monitored devices in your environment. You can use the Applied Devices tab to exclude or include specific devices if needed. The method that you choose depends on whether the threshold applies to a larger or smaller number of devices. Use Exclude Devices when you have a small subset of devices that you want to exclude, but otherwise you want all other devices to still alert for this threshold. For example, you may want to be alerted for all devices except one individual or one group. Use Apply This Threshold to Specific Devices when the set of devices you want to alert for is a smaller subset of all devices. For example, you may only want to be alerted for two or three devices or a specific device group, but not all. Use the Device Group Picker to build your list and click Save. The number of groups or devices appears in the tab for easy reference. Finally, you can assign a notification policy to a threshold that will generate email messages when an alert is triggered. Notification policies allow you to escalate an alert via email in addition to simply listing the alerts in the Alert Center. Notifications and notification policies are set up on their respective tabs. Edit the threshold that you wish to add the notification policy to. Choose the notification policy from the drop-down menu. We recommend selecting the Automatically Resolve Items No Longer Out of Threshold checkbox so that once a device returns to being under threshold, the notifications will stop. 
Similarly, if you no longer want to receive notification alerts for a particular threshold, set its notification policy field to No Policy. Please note that No Policy is the default setting for new thresholds. So, if you want to receive email alerts for a new threshold that you add to WhatsApp Gold, be sure to select a notification policy for it. Thank you for watching this video on the ways you can configure alert thresholds in WhatsApp Gold.